is the SRPL. SRPL. SRPL SRPL Live
L S R P L。SRPL SRPL Live. Live. SRPL.
is the SRPL SRPL Live. Live. SRPL 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 Live
This is the SRPL SRPL Live. Live. SRPL 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 Live SRPL
Good evening and welcome to the Chandler's Four Club for this Thursday night reboot season cup final between the Rocket Ronnies B and the Swan. Rocket Ronnies has just rocked up, had a quick practice and we're ready to go. First up for Rocket Ronnies is Harry Allen and for the Swan is Steve Wood. So as usual, we've got two cameras tonight, one at the uh, head of the table and one at the side. Connection seems to be pretty good, hopefully uh, it will last the match. But we'll see. It's the first time using the uh, Chandler's Four Club for a final. And it certainly, um, certainly is a good little setup here around the table. Plenty of space. Well lit. A couple of rolls on the table, but uh, nothing too major to worry about. Okay, so the players are ready. Harry versus Steve. All right, cool. That mean Slag for the break. <laughs> First break to Steve Wood. Dry break by Steve. Over to Harry. Oh, so I can forward this now to someone else. I'm 
Very nervy start to the frame. Still open. Don't forget we are on a Facebook group. You can uh, comment on this video. I think we've got some live chat next to the uh, next to the video on YouTube as well. So Harry gets underway He's on reds. Are watching uh, around Southampton and further afield. Then good evening. So this is the fourth of six live finals we've got this season. Last week was the Shield, this week the Cup, next week is the singles and doubles. Oh, sneaky little snooker there by Steve. Uh, next live match after this one will be on Tuesday next week, which will be either the singles or doubles. 
yet to be decided due to a semi-final in the doubles being played tonight. Once we know who's in the final, we'll organise that and uh, post that ASAP on the website and on YouTube. Of course, the additional live stream we also have is on Wednesday. So lucky by Harry there. Uh, the next live stream after Tuesday is on Wednesday. That will be the groups draw for the summer 2022 season. Uh, if you haven't registered for that, then you are running out of time. Registration closes this Sunday. And um, check the website. Registration details are on there. Google form to fill in. And if you haven't already paid back in 2020, then you'll need to pay £20 and uh, fill in the form and you'll be in for the summer season. Like I say, that closes on Sunday. Shot there by Steve, put it put it in the white back from the of the table. <laughs> No easy route from that last yellow. Second to last yellow onto the last yellow, so uh, still just laying the snooker there. Ronnie's is Stu Berry, and for S the Swan, it's the landlord Rich Sells. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Stu Barry to break. Uh, 
Another dry break. A reasonable spread. A lot of tied up balls though. No easy first ball here for Rich by the looks of it. It's tight up behind that yellow as it is. No easy first starter there for Rich, so he's opted for just containing safety. Still nothing easy for Stu to get started, possibly a yellow. So as always, there were some stats up on the screen during that little uh, break between frames. Interesting reading, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, Rocket Ronnie's interesting um, route to the final for them. Finishing first in their group, Group E, with uh, 69 points, having won seven out of their eight matches. Last 16, they beat North Battersea Social Club 5-3, Yacht A in the quarters 5-4, and in the semi-finals, a couple of weeks ago, they beat the style 5-3. Swan, on the other hand, finished first in their group as well, Group B, with uh, 91 points, having won eight out of possible ten matches. Last 16, they beat Wollstone Trades and Labour Club B, 7-2, in the quarter-finals, Natalie Central Club 5-1, and in the semi-finals, the Ice House 5-3. <laughs> Yeah, the one. Yeah. You said four sounds. 
Can I just read four out? There you go. Fuck me. What you mean? Can I can I <laughs> so a bit of a stalemate in this frame so far. No player with any real clear advantage of their ball position. get position on really that one nearest the black if he lands on that in any uh, in any way to pot it you fancy his chances but Stu certainly is a potter and uh, any opportunity to clear up and he will Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So there's been a few people asking about the uh, presentation night for the last three seasons. That'll be uh, the winter 20, no, 19, uh, 2019 2020 season, as well as the reboot season we're playing now, and also the summer 22 season which is about to start um, the plan is at the moment to hold that in September which is the normal month for holding presentation nights location yet to be confirmed obviously uh, keep an eye on all the usual social media channels the Facebook group etc and the website and that will be publicised we're looking into something a little bit different this season possibly um, three seasons worth of trophies requires a lot of space that's a lot of trophies um, possibly even a ticket event just to guarantee numbers but we'll see what's this space and we hope to see as many of you there as possible whether you've won or not Meanwhile, back on the table, it's Rich at the table on reds. Left himself a little bit tighter on this ball than he needed to be. I think he might just be playing the uh, safety. Unless he fancies the plant, which I doubt. Oh, he did fancy the plant. Didn't pull it off, but I think he possibly got away with it. As you can see from the uh, the side angle there, yellow next to the black is. I think touching the black, if not uh, extremely close, one to the right of it. Might be a possible plant. And that's what Stu's looking at at the moment. Uh, no, he could get it to the top pocket. Good shot. To 
does that go to the other middle? He must have looked at this, surely. It's getting down pretty quick. Looks like it does. No, it doesn't. And foul. It's a foul. No ball. Touch the cushion. Ridiculously close, but no ball touched cushion. Two visits to Rich. So a good opportunity here for Rich. Not sure he wanted to leave himself so tight behind that sector last red. Bit of a risky shot playing this uh, snick into the middle. Oh, he's gone long. You've got to feel the uh, pendulum swung in favour of Stu. Shot, two, go on, mate. Two good shots. There it is. It's one on. Rich Jones. Dry break number three. Look at that spread, look where the balls are. For a man of Melbourne's uh, pedigree. I would just say, 
Even if you don't dish. Who's job? Come on. There's one. There's two. So I've just had uh, the result from the doubles semi-final that was being played tonight come through. And it's uh, Reg and uh, Simon Flaxman that have got through to the doubles final. So that'll be Rich and Steve from the Swan versus Simon and Reg, the doubles. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here on the Thursday Cup final table, Melvin's on ball five. I think he's just pondering the uh, angle to get on this yellow closest to the back. This one's all about the position. I work, but I, I finish work and go away and shower <laughs> and clean oh, my shower. What time do you finish with it? Five. Uh, five. So this one's a lot of position. <laughs> He's got it, a little kick on the black as well. Oh, oh, great position on the black there. Crowd's full and silent. Oh, look at that. I haven't got a uh, graphic for a reverse breaking dish, but you can have some sparks. Nicely done, Melvin. 2 1 to Ronnie's. This is the SRPL Live. Check out our YouTube channel, Sutton Pool, for all our live streamed matches.
on to frame four, we got Sambo versus Stu, uh, Stu Chan. Oh, the table. I thought I had a time, I thought I'd keep you now for my career. Still now. I did an OAT, didn't I? I thought I'd keep you more time, but it must have been just the OAT. Yeah, okay, no, no. It's an important thing in front of Well, that certainly opens up an opportunity for Sambo here. All the Reds in open play. Bit of an awkward position uh, for the black, but uh, it's certainly potable to a couple of pockets. Unless he goes for a clearance of that yellow ball in the pocket. Nope. Just a simple clearance from there, then. I say simple. It's easy when you sat down clicking on buttons on a laptop, eh? So second to last red to last red. 
key shot. Plenty of yellows to avoid. his luck how's his luck no no he is snookered That seemed to roll forever towards that middle bag. That is unlucky. <laughs> so one shot to get position on the red. <laughs> Hampered slightly by the black. Just there. And it's 3 1. channel Sutton Pool for all our live streamed matches. SRPL SRPL Live SRPL
YouTube channel Sutton Pool for all our live streamed matches. SRPL SRPL Live the doubles and for Ronnie Ronnie's Ronnie, 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 Rocky Ronnie's B is Paul Bullen and Sam Wilden and for the Swan is Steve Wood and Rich Jones and it's swans and shoes and uh, it's Steve Wood to break <laughs> Hopefully the stream tonight is of sufficient quality for you to watch live. Little magic bars. Oh, oh look at that. There's a break and a ball went down. Well, that's a good start. It's got to be an omen, surely. Like I was saying, hopefully the stream tonight is of sufficient quality to watch live. I can see my little bars going up and down uh, for the connection. 
It certainly seems to be more green than red, so hopefully you're able to watch this live and virtually uninterrupted. Deep in discussions about the way to go forward. So this is our fourth of six live finals for this reboot season in the SRPL. Last week was our Shield finals. Both of those are available now to watch on our YouTube channel. If you search YouTube for Sotten Paul or if you head over to srpl.org.uk and uh, check out our social media links on there, you'll find a playlist of all of this reboot season's finals. Next week we've got the singles and doubles, likely to be Tuesday singles, Thursday doubles, and wedged in the middle on Wednesday night live from SRPL HQ will be the group's draw for the summer 2022 season. Of course you're only in the summer 2022 season if you register and registration is open now head over to srpl.org.uk to register there is a link just underneath this video on the website if you're there watching to register your team that takes you to a google docs form where you can fill in all your details captain captain name venue name address etc etc make sure you've got permission from your venue manager landlord landlady etc um, and if you've already paid for the 2020 season then you do not need to pay for this season if you haven't you will need to pay registration closes on Sunday 5 p.m. sharp give or take an hour uh, and like I say the live draw will be on then we're straight back at it no, ignore that, two weeks off and then we're back at it. What will I do for myself with no pool for two weeks? Of course, the easiest thing to do is pop over to our Facebook group, get yourself on that, and uh, request a friendly. There's plenty of teams out there looking for a friendly before the season starts. And like I say, the season will start 12th of April. Not so funny when it happens to you. White ball win for Paul. Two shots to the swat. So our referees tonight took it in turns for the first few frames. Ben, uh, ben Spears was refereeing this doubles, thought he'd drawn the short straw, having the uh, doubles. I think he's got away with that. 
We've had a couple of <coughs> extended, shall we say, doubles this season in, uh, in these finals. But I've got to say thank you very much to Ben, Mike, Steve, Jason and Steve Wood of the Swan team who's playing at the moment who have volunteered to referee for us in these finals. It's always quite important to have uh, a different person for each frame just so their concentration levels are, are on the game and not other things going on in the room. Especially since they're live stream, no one wants to um, watch a frame back and realise they were done out of a foul. Back on this table, it's uh, Steve Wood's shot, I think. Yep, Steve Wood's shot on the red, last red. I think it probably squeezes past the black. Difficult to tell from either angle. But he desperately needs this frame. So he went for the, um, the double on that one. He's got away with it slightly. Leaving nothing simple for either of these last two yellows. Little sneaky double or just get the white off the table. There you go, Paul. There's the advert uh, for rollout carpets. It's 500 pounds, please. <laughs> Two minds about the one. Not sure if they've got one between them. Just kidding. I think the angle there for the red to the corner is covered. Looking from there. The view there is like most seats I get in the theatre. Live action show, the back of people. So some argue that we should have a, um, a no talking rule or some sort of shot clock in the SRPO. I'd love to 
hear your thoughts on that. They certainly use it in another couple of leagues I know of. It does require someone to be paying attention to a stopwatch of some sort. Whether the SRPL will benefit from it, I don't know. So that's not worked out too well for Rich. Leaving the red relatively safe. And Paul on the sector last yellow. And uh, pretty much straight on it as well. Oh. That ball thought about not dropping, but it did. And this black for four one. <laughs> and four one it is. channel Sutton Pool for all our live streamed matches. SRPL SRPL Live SRPL
YouTube channel, Sutton Pool, for all our live streamed matches. SRPL SRPL Live
is the SRPL SRPL Live. Live. SRPL frame bit singles it's Aaron Pello versus Steve Wood We've all had a bite to eat thank you very much to the Channels 4 Club for hosting us tonight and providing some food it's over to Steve Wood to break It's another break and part. We're warming up. We're getting some balls in the pockets. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, just for a pair of ribbit before I give it up. All day long. We got close. 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 Well, that's a great shot. He was unlucky for the white to go in the middle there. Open table and over to Aaron. Yeah, 
So could this be the last frame for the Thursday Reboot Cup final? Balls are all there. I don't believe Aaron's played that much this season for the Rocket Runnies, but he's played a He's played in one of the group stages. It's going to be taking the white away from the other yellow, whichever ball he takes here. He's going to need to judge his angles well or uh, count on good old luck. And luck wasn't on his side. Don't think he can see that. Total called and total confirmed. Guided missile. That white goes straight into the corner. <laughs> Swan players here doing a great job just ignoring all the commotion around them about who's playing in this uh, last section. Steve's okay in that shot, I believe. Looks like it is. Good position on the black. It's this for 4 1. 4 2 even. And 4 2 it is. Sutton Pool for all our live streamed matches.
This is the SRPL SRPL Live. Live. SRPL taking it very casual tonight okay on with frame seven and for the rocket ronnies it's Stu Berry and for the swan is Rich Jones so we're very fortunate tonight in our host the Chandler's Ford Club providing us with some lovely food a great table and a great atmosphere as well multiple TV's here showing, uh, I think it's football, I have no real interest in it, to be honest, there seems to be two matches of football going on. Uh, I've just been informed. Ray's watching from a Weather Spoons. Good evening Ray, thank you very much for being our uh, coordinator for sorting out this final. I believe you're off on holiday, so uh, have a good one mate look forward to maybe playing you in the uh, summer season <laughs> so another nice spread on the break there, but no balls down. It's a clear run for Rich, if he fancies it, but with that black tied up, I'm not sure he does. Probably his best choice of colour is going to be yellow. And yellow he is going for. And it has. Yeah. 
So yeah, I'd say this frame is uh, certainly in Rich's hands until he breaks that black away from the yellow over in the uh, top right as we're looking at it now. That's a corker shot. Yeah, we've beaten run up the line. Looking from that angle. This yellow near the red goes. Come on, Play so the pressure is on Stu to find the right angle to clear that yellow black combo at the top obviously he's got that red nearby Well, that has put the cat amongst the pigeons there. Could be in for a long one. So don't forget if you are watching this and you haven't yet registered for the summer 2022 season, registration closes on Sunday. Head over to srpl.org.uk, fill in the form, pay the money and you'll be part of this fantastic pooling. Next week, coming up on the live stream, we've got Tuesday is the singles, potentially, and Thursday for the doubles. And sandwiched in the middle on the Wednesday will be the group straw for the summer season groups. If you don't know the format, 
Similar to the one we've just played for this reboot season, all teams registered get drawn into groups of six, play each other home and away. Top 16 are ranked and go into the cup. Bottom 16, all the teams go into the shield. And they play through to a final like we're watching right now. The format allows for as many or as few teams as we get registered. Ideally we want 32, so we've got 16 in a cup, 16 in the shield. But any number is operational. We can, uh, I think we played this Tuesday season with 24 or so teams. It all works. And it brings business into pubs in the Southampton area, which is the key reason for the Ball League existing. Certainly post COVID, these venues need our trade more than ever to keep them open. Too many pubs have already closed due to COVID. We need to do our best. Keep populating them, organising friendlies, playing singles, doubles, team matches, league matches, the whole nine yards. Meanwhile here back on the table we have Stewberry on his last red. Great shot to get position on this one. Getting on the black might be a bit difficult. Certainly no easy pot. It's a cut and a half. But what a cut for the cup. <laughs> It's close, but it's not there. Over to Rich. Take these two last yellows and the black. Let's give them a fighting chance and winning this reboot cup. A little snick into the corner, a little snick into the middle, Max in the corner. That was a pressure shot. Well taken. And it is. 4-3 to Rocket Ronnie's. We've got a game on our hands. This is the SRPL Live. Check out our YouTube channel, Sutton Pool, for all our live streamed matches.
is the SRPL SRPL Live. Okay, moving on to frame eight with Rocket Ronnie's leading 4 3. For Ronnie's is Harry Allen. And for the Swan is Stuart Charlton. Are you reffing, Paddy? Yeah. Oh, no. So, Stu wins the lag and obstacle break. Good break. Red's gone down. Nice little spread. I think Stu's contemplating this plant into the corner pocket. Risky shot if it doesn't come off. Dangerous shot if it doesn't play it hard enough. Two visits from Harry on yellow. Oh, really? 
Not sure that's done him any favours. Basically, you weren't even an edge in your old man's sack from that Shot to clear the corner pocket. Hopefully, that's given him the, uh, <coughs> the mojo to continue on. Pop a few more reds, certainly all there. Needs that to slow down. Oh. Little bit of no man's land there. I don't think he's got the cut to the middle. I don't think he's got the cut on the red to the black, by the black to the middle. Might need a bit of safety here. <laughs> <sighs> That's really well played. It's a cracking shot. He's got a difficult bit of cue in here, but if he can pull the white ball back, I'm not sure. Nope, from where I'm sat, that black does not go to the bottom right as we're looking at it on screen now. Even with loads of bottom on this, I'm not sure you can get a good position on this last red. Going top, looking at how he's queuing, he's going top. That was brave. Is it there? He's got an angle. Around the angles, back down for 
the corner pocket, closest to the right at the moment. <laughs> It's a valiant effort. The bike's relatively safe. <laughs> Sober Harry would have a trouble, would have a bit of a problem here. Not so sober Harry, who knows. It's got a straight shot on this red. Not sure. It's the best route for potting it. Drop it over the corner to the top of your screens as you're looking at it now. Risk of the white going in off. Drop it into the right on right as you're looking now. Got the safety net of the yellow to catch the white. The black into the middle possibly. It's a tight cut. Is it worth it? The force of decider. Clever shot. Clever shot. That's actually worked out very well for him, but I fear of a snooker coming up for Stu. And that there is. <laughs> Not sure on the right shot here. Off the top cushion. Avoid the black. He needs to hit that red with a bit of pace to not leave the white in a prime position to clear up. Yeah. 
Like Paul of Cups, but we have to be able to pay the cup. Now, yes, I'm very soon. I'm going to take those out of the way. I'm going to take those out of the way. From this angle, I think we'll know before he does if he's made the shot, if he goes for that. I think it's possibly the only option he's got. Plenty of side on this. It's an effort. It's unlucky. He's missed it from there. Over to Harry with a shot and a visit. What one hand? to clinch it for Rocket Ronnies. Are they where he needs them? That's the question. What about the transition? He's got that one. position on the black but it cuts to the middle this for the cup and it's there congratulations to the rocket ronnie's b team beating the swan at 5-3 all that leaves for me to say is thank you very much for watching thank you very much to the chandler's four club for hosting us tonight Thank you to our refs for volunteering and stepping up and refing this final. And we will see you on Tuesday for the singles. Kev Butler versus Gary Pennington, KCB versus Wolfie, live from Rocket Ronnie's. Do join us then. Thank you very much for watching and good night. channel Sutton Pool for all our live streamed matches. SRPL SRPL